jumped up and he said, <laughs> what? No apple pie? She came over to dad as he was leaving and she said, that was so much fun. Would you do that again one day when I'm not expecting it? <laughs> <laughs> whatever else you think you like about this person, whatever, no matter how beautiful, no matter how much money, whatever it is, you see that and it's like, that's it. A cup of coffee with my, with mom. my mom. The wait staff here, and oh my, I don't know how many hundreds are on the wait staff because, you know, we have 2,200 people live here in independent living and mm -hmm. they're fed every day. And there are eight well, sure. different. They get hungry. Yeah. <laughs> there are eight different eating venues. Three big, lovely dining rooms, and then restaurants. Um, so it takes a lot of wait staff. And these servers that we have are by and large students. They're high school students, and I guess some of them are college students. Mm -hmm. And I guess they don't make fabulous salaries, I don't know, but they are given scholarships at the end of their service here or during their service I don't know so you mm -hmm. you made a really nice video that will be shown on the third and then I will be introducing you to the audience oh good uh, yeah so I, I look forward to it I you know Mike I am surrounded by seniors older people a lot of the people here are older than I am there are a lot who are younger mm -hmm. and it's so it's so much fun to go to the restaurants and the dining rooms. I, I kid that I'm getting my kid fixed because the kids that wait on us, they're so much fun. They really are. Um, I just, it makes me nostalgic for my grandchildren. Um, <laughs> it's a good experience. And, and it, re, you know, it, it brings to my mind what you're doing in your program. Well, look, I mean, it's a lot of kids and they're, and they're trying to figure out you know what to do with their life and it is i mean if you think about it it's pretty great training to deal with senior citizens oh. every day three times a day right i mean you're you're, you're going to learn a certain level of patience you're going to learn you're going to learn a lot right right especially if you pay attention do you have you befriended any of them specifically oh I mean, yes yeah uh-huh i have and you get to know them by name um You know, I don't not to get maudlin or anything, but you do feel like you're almost related to them, like they're they're your kids, and you want them to do well, and you want to be nice to them, and I know they want to be nice to us, but there must be times, like <laughs> when we go on Fridays, there there are six of us at the table, and. They take our order, they get our name first, and they take our order, and then they bring our soup and our salad, whatever. Well, and then they bring our entree. Well, by the time the entrees get to us, five of the six of us have forgotten what we ordered. <laughs> I know, we're old people, <laughs> you know? And they are so patient, and they'll smile, and inside they must be thinking, God, how do these people, <laughs> how do they live from day to day? <laughs> they're, so, they're so pitiful. You know, what you do is, the, you take the order, you go away for 10 minutes, then you come back and say, how was everything? <laughs> <laughs> no, they haven't done oh, that yet. But I, I will tell you one funny thing that happened. Um, a young um, server came to our table and I said, what is the soup du jour? That means soup of the day in case you didn't know. Mm -hmm. and, and she said, oh, it's that one I can't pronounce. And I said, might it be mulligatani soup? And she said, that's it. And I said, well, how does it look? And she said, well, I wouldn't need it. <laughs> <laughs> she really knew how to sell it. And I honestly, I thought that was the funniest thing. Well, well I wouldn't need it. But I did get it. What is mulligatani? I got it, it, and it was delicious. I can't tell you what was in it. This was a couple of months ago. Uh, Do you remember what it tasted like? It was good. That's all sure I remember, and it might have been a little on the creamy side, but it's hard to tell. We have so many different soups. The soups are always really good. What's the meatball soup, Chuck, that you always order in that Mexican Al joint? Albundigus. Albundigus. 
Yeah. A butt which, which is Mexican, which is Mexican, which is Spanish for meatball. Oh, I thought well, it was Spanish for a lot of meatballs. Abundant. <laughs> I, I believe it Abundant is. meatballs. Abundigus, yeah. Um, Abundigus but you know what? Also. I mean, whenever you have a couple of thousand people, you're going to have some people who are not always pleasant, who are not always appreciative. And mm -hmm. every once in a while, uh, I will see someone who could be a little bit nicer to the servers. Mm -hmm. And they ha are without exception gracious. And sure. they listen and they receive some good training here, you know. But like you say, it's, it's great life experience because they learn to deal with the public. And they learn that not everybody's as nice as grandma. Uh, <laughs> but for the most part, people are. It's a... Uh... There's probably not a better metric, you know, if you're dating, right? If you're trying to figure out who's who and, you know, to be out on a date and to have your date be disrespectful to a waiter or a waitress. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know that there's, I mean, really, it's, it's kind of horrifying to watch, but it's also a relief in a way because that's it. You know, whatever else you think you like about this person, whatever, <laughs> no matter how beautiful, no matter how much money, whatever it is. Uh, you know, for me anyway, you see that and it's like, that's it. That's, that's a deal breaker, you know. That's a good point. Neat. It's just, I mean, it, I, I can forgive a lot of stuff, but that, that kind of dismissive, rude ordering around, flicking your finger. I saw a guy flicking his fingers the other day in a restaurant. Hey, 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 boy. Like, wow. For, for the wife to sit there, you know, and be okay with it. That's a yeah. that's a heck of a thing. But you know what? You're right. If if you're the waiter, that's your moment to be gracious. That's your moment to absolutely be un, unflappable in a situation. Exactly. Like that. I'll tell you another funny thing that happened one night. We were eating <clears throat> in a restaurant called Quarry Grill, and things are less formal there. And um, a young waitress came over, and she said, "Well, I hate to have to tell you, but we're out of apple pie." Well, that's dad's favorite. He always gets apple pie a la mode. <clears throat> mm -hmm. He jumped up out of his seat and he said, and he sounded like the wolf in the three pigs. He jumped up and he said, <laughs> what? No apple pie? In a very exaggerated way. <laughs> that's a pretty way. good imitation. And she yeah. jumped back and then she <laughs> laughed and she laughed. <laughs> well, 20 minutes later when we left the restaurant, she came over to dad as he was leaving and she said, Mr. Mm -hmm. John, that was so much fun. Would you do that again one day when I'm not expecting it? <laughs> it really got her adrenaline going, I guess. Not everybody can pull that off, and I don't suggest that everybody do it, but Dad did it well. Mm. Yeah, you know, he, his, his percentage, what would you say his percentage is in, in moments like that where he deliberately will go way, way beyond the line? You know, whether it's chatting people up in an elevator you know, remember who's yeah. the guy? And remember, give me a nervous breakdown. Yes, right, right. I mean, he's like cringe versus payoff. What's his batting percentage these days? Well, he's pretty good at it. I mean, I might turn around and run the other way before it, the climax <laughs> comes, you know, before I see how it's going to end because mm -hmm. I get nervous about things like that. I'll tell you, I, I, who knows about percentage, but one night we were somewhere... And he said to somebody, I won't tell you who it is, he said to somebody, boy, you look really beat. Um, you look really tired. Uh, and then she, she happened to have an empty bottle in front, of a, in front of her, a bottle of wine or whiskey or something. And Dad said, or maybe it's the Jim Beam. <laughs> well, she didn't find that funny at all. And she slammed something down and she stood up and she said, I'm tired because I've had a long day. I got up early. Blah, 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 blah. And dad said, oh, sorry, sorry. He meant it as a joke, you know, but not yeah, everybody yeah. gets a joke. So, yeah, he doesn't hit a home run every time. <laughs> but anybody He's always tired. swinging. He's always yeah. swinging. He's still exactly. Swinging. Anybody who knows him well, you know, sees the humor. Well, the classic moments, though, Chuck, are, you know, it's, they're not really in public. Well, they're in public, but, like, you know, the more confined the space, the more awkward, <laughs> potentially, the moment. 
So when the elevator doors close and my poor mom is standing there and my and father's standing there. Right. There's nowhere for her to go. No one's talking because, you know, all sane people know you're in the elevator. You just kind of, you know, look straight ahead and keep your mouth shut. But dad looks over at, you know, an old guy with a big white beard and long flowing white hair and says, what's he say, mom? Oh, let's see. What? Oh, that was an actual story in, in one of my books. That, and that actually happened. Uh, yeah. so, something like, um, so, um, oh, God, I don't know. How's the weather at the North Pole? Or No, he said, he said where'd you? Oh, yeah, where'd you where, park? Your, where'd you put the reindeer? Where where'd did you, you park, park the reindeer? reindeer? That's what it was, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> with, with a wink and a smile. And it's like in that moment, the guy's either going to roll his eyes and say, oh, God, this again, trapped in an elevator with a jokester. But he was gracious and laughed. He was, and he, in fact, he had a good comeback. He said, oh, I, I only use them on Christmas Eve um, <laughs> because it wasn't quite Christmas yet. It was like the week before Christmas. Oh, no, they, they don't come out until Christmas Eve. Oh, and so everything was fine, you know, and, and I could exhale. Uh, he may very well have been Santa Claus then. He, you know, it, it could be. But sometimes he'll just look at the people and he'll say, don't anybody talk. We're in an elevator. You're not allowed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes people respond well, <laughs> and sometimes they just keep looking at the floor. Well, the older he gets, the more charming it becomes, and the less awkward it is. I think, you know. <laughs> and I the think. thinner, the thinner his filter. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh well, but that's pretty funny. What? No apple pie? <laughs> what? No apple pie? <laughs> I, I can really hear him saying it the way you do it. Yeah. And so of what's up I, for today? I'm pulling on his pants like, sit down, John. Sit down, John. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, our time, it's almost 2 o'clock, and we eat dinner early here. You have a choice. You can eat at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock. So there's a joke. There's a joke that the really cool hip people don't eat until six o'clock. <laughs> the the slightly the the slightly hip people eat at five and mm -hmm. the broken hip people eat at four. <laughs> <laughs> so we're neither of those things. We're eating at four fifteen today, so we won't have a lot of time. I just might All take right. a little nap because Yesterday was a very demanding day, and I got up early for bocce ball, so. All right. Well, rest up. Take a nap. But don't, uh, don't, don't shirk on the book thing. People keep asking me how it's coming. Oh, it's close? coming. Yeah, it is coming. Michael, there is just so much wonderful material here. So many people who are story-worthy. Um, every place I look, there's a story. I just have to be very careful not to invade anyone's privacy or you know get too specific i i won't use names real names unless they want me to where's dad is he in the apartment or is he still no, celebrating he had to go to the picture? library and you know he always gets stuck at the library he loves the library he loves books that's a good thing well that's great so i said while you're there look for my books he said okay do they have your books in the library they do but last time they were out. Um, they had. They were out on loan. Well, it's good that they have your books. It'd be weird if they didn't. I guess, right? Oh no, they do. They have them all. Yep. You should and, sign them. And it's. Oh, then they won't come back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They'd have to order more. Oh, I. See. Oh, okay. See, that's how you sell some books. I see. Well, I, I do have a speaking gig in in May, and I just had one a couple of weeks ago, and. Uh, books, Where's your speaking gig? A bookstore comes at that time and sells and sells books and people buy them. It's in a church actually over in Cockeysville. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Catholic church and they have a very active <coughs> senior group. And so they've asked if I would come. And... Oh, you're putting a cough drop back in your mouth now? Oh, because I might cough if I don't. Why don't, why don't you treat yourself to a fresh one? Well, 
this has my DNA all over it. It's mine. I posted something yesterday that's been read by, God, I don't know, close to a half million people. It's, I called it date night. It's about date night. Dad and I had a date night the other night. They, they show a movie here three nights a week on their TV station, but in the, in the, they have a theater, a lovely movie theater. It's called the Auditorium. And at least once a month, they show a movie in the auditorium, maybe twice a month. And this month it was The Client, which I think Dad and I both had read, uh, Grisham, John Grisham. Yeah, sure. So I thought it would be nice to have a date night. So Dad and I went to dinner together. Uh, we couldn't sit across the table from each other because Dad can't hear me across the table, so we had to sit shoulder to shoulder. And we couldn't look in each other's eyes because our necks don't turn that far. Our heads don't turn that far. <laughs> and we couldn't have uh, candlelight because no open flames are allowed here. Mm. So I turned the flashlight on my phone and put a tissue over it, and it just sort of looked like the glow from candlelight. <laughs> and then we went to the movie. I mean, what gets you in a romantic mood more than a movie? This one, not so much. I, I say in my post, we came out, and sure enough, we were breathless. We'd been running from the FBI and the police and the mob and the mob for the last two hours in the Grisham movie. Mm -hmm. But it was fun. It was date night. All right. Well, I, that, that sounds great. Kleenex over top of the light on your phone, followed by a John Grisham movie. Yeah. And then what happened? Then you came back to the apartment. Then, then well, things after, spicy. Uh, it's funny. After dinner, Dad said, we were walking down the hall, and Dad said, Hey, hon, looks like we have time for a quickie before the movie. What do you say? <laughs> and I said, Well, be still my heart. And then he hauls me into the pool room, starts racking the <laughs> balls, so we had to play a game of pool before the movie. That's part of date night. Dinner, a pool game, and a movie. Mom, it's always a treat. It's great to see you. I love your scarf. I love your stories. I love Moses. I love Exodus. I love Noah. I love I love just horses. Just it's a lot of love. Yeah, <laughs> just walking across the stage, and the all together. It's another great catch up. Well, I enjoyed every minute. I look forward to these monthly gatherings. Well, don't get too used to it. We'll see how they go. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Thanks, I'll call Peggy. you later for it real. Was great. <laughs> See you later, Chuck. Bye. <laughs>